Hey, good afternoon, all you guys. We're in uh, Ratum Pass, geared across the state line into uh, Colorado, I-25 northbound. Um, as you guys can see up here, it is snowing, and I'm holding my speed um, at 20, 25, 30 miles per hour due to the simple fact that we're going downhill. Uh, as far as my ankle, ladies and gentlemen, the swelling has gone down a little bit, so I figure I'll go ahead and bring it on in into uh, Denver uh, as soon as I get out of this this snow, um, out of these mountains. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and... Um, I thank all of you guys for sending me text messages wishing me well. Things like this. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later about that, what to do um, when you're um, injured out here on the road. As you guys see in the video preceding this one, I showed you guys. Uh, oh my god, he just spun out. Uh, stand by, stand by. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. You okay? You got help coming? Yeah. You called a 911? Yes, sir. Okay, man. Keep your heater on, brother. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, man. Oh, I have a whole shitload of cars behind me. Uh, things like this, guys, since we're um, out here on the road. Um, he spun out. He did it right in front of me as I was talking to you guys. That happened because he was going too fast. See how this bastard just blew past us? He'll be next. Uh, but things like that, uh, adverse weather, I will, I'm, uh, I'm an advocate of no child left behind and no man left behind. Uh, what I did right there is called this I uh, mean stop to see if he called for help. He did. I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, but uh, I told him to make sure he keep his heater on. Uh, things like that, you know. Um, we look out after not just one another out here, we, we also look out after after you guys. Even the guy he, even though you guys are doing stupid shit. <laughs> like that guy, he's speeding, right? And I saw him when I was talking to you guys. He just lost control and went into the ditch. There's no, there's no way in the hell I'm, uh, cause we can we consider the admirals of the highway, you know. I'm not gonna drive right past him, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, yeah, things like that, you know. I mean, I should have asked if he needed some water or something, but he gave me the thumbs up. He's good. He said that he called for help. So, I did my good deed there, but that's just to show you guys. And this stuff here, please take it easy, go slow. All right. As you guys can see, we're well ahead of the slope, the, the snow plows, because uh, it's starting to cover up again. And the guy was back there at the plow station gearing down the highway. I should have let him on. But things like that, you know. Please take it slow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, especially you youngsters just getting licenses. God damn. Uh, that's why the insurance rate's high on all of us, and that's why the unemployment rate <laughs> is in the toilet. I mean, the retirement rate, we can't retire till we can, they're gonna be 90 years old. But anyhow, on that note, you guys, I'll let you guys know when I get back to um, when I make it off this rock. Because, um, like I said, I have a whole <laughs> I mean, it's not so bad now, but uh, these people still insist on staying behind me. Um, you know that old saying, you know, follow a big red and get you to adverse weather. One of these days, somebody gonna follow me right, right off a damn cliff. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll um, keep you guys posted um, on this um, ankle situation. I'm feeling much better because I'm sitting down. I try walking around on it, putting pressure on it. Not, it doesn't hurt as much, so your boy will be back in business. You know what I'm saying? I'm toughing it out, you know? I'm not called a rock for nothing. 
<laughs> Alright guys, I'll let you guys later.